Hey everybody, it's John and it is not Dry Fire Monday today, but Live Fire Monday. We are taking all the work that we've been doing in Dry Fire with our Mantis Firearms Performance System, this little guy right here, and we are putting it to use on the range and showing how this can really help us. And today I have uh, a drill here, I have two targets set out. I'm at the seven yard line. Um, you might have to either use, I can show you a couple different ways you can set this up, but using the Mantis as part of helping you to recognize target transitions and how to get targets transitions quickly so that your shooting improves. There are live fire training tools and dry fire training tools. Mantis X is the only one that does both. It will change the way you shoot for the better. It has helped me immensely. First of all, just a little bit of philosophy of shooting here, right? So we have two targets that are about, they're about five to six feet apart, something like that, because we're out here on the live fire range, right? And you go, gosh, John, but I only get one lane. Well, maybe you get a quiet time at your indoor range or you get to an outdoor range where you can set two up. You also could, for instance, on uh, the ILF EQP target on the right, you actually have three different targets there. Uh, you have the, the center ring, you could even use the pelvic girdle or uh, the head ring, you could use a pelvic to head. Really what you're trying to do here on target transition is you are trying to get the gun out, get the shot that you want, now move your head and your eyes and then bring the gun to it. What I see people do is they turret instead and what they do is they go like this and they go, there's my next target. So they're here, they come back this way. And when you turret, what tends to happen is you go R -r 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 -r, and then you can finally shoot. Or you're over here and you're gonna transition there. If you don't move your eyes first, you go R -r 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 -r. I see that all the time. So what instead we wanna do is, as we drive that gun out, we see with our sights, we drive the gun to it. We see with our eyes and we drive the gun to it. Now, if you're a red dot shooter, one of the things that I want you to be doing with this is I want you to make sure that, it, you know, if you're gonna do this on a single target, make sure that your second target is outside of where your window is. Because again, you're just trying to get out of the window, get over there and go. Now, if it's just a small movement, I can just move my eyes. You notice here, I'm gonna move my eyes, move the gun and drive my shot. Now, if it's a bigger movement, say I'm over here and I gotta go over there, then again, I'm gonna move my head and then drive the gun to it. Move my head and drive the gun to it. Move my head and drive the gun to it. On this here, we don't really have to do that. So if you just look here, I can be driving and, and going bang, bang, bang here, move my eyes, go bang, bang, bang here. Really easy to do. And I wanna show you what that looks like. We'll show you both from uh, the behind the scenes here where we are right now and from the others. Now what this is gonna do for you is it is going to make you faster at getting to those target transitions. Now, why would we do this? Are we always gonna have two bad guys? If you watch the main channel, you see two bad guys about a third of the time. You have a second bad guy, right? So what we're gonna probably do is again, give a serving here, bang, 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 drive over to this guy, bang, 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 right? We can do that. Well, we don't have to do three rounds every time if we're trying to isolate the target transition, okay? So we can simply go, all right, here's one shot for you, move over one shot for you, knowing that we're isolating a skill and then in the, uh, in the gunfight, in the, the fight for our life, then we know we're gonna give him multiples and it's that third one, bang, 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 and then we move over to the next one, okay? So let's kind of take a look here what we're talking about. All I wanna do here, I'm gonna start, you know, we're, we're hot, we're good. Yep, we're good there. Gun is in hand. I don't have to draw out of the holster. I mean, you can if you want to on this one. No big deal, right? But again, all I'm trying to do here is get a shot, drive over to the next one. And I wanna start that when I'm first training this skill. I don't need to go fast. If you go fast a lot of times, you, you are losing out on learning how your body does it and doing it well. So on this particular one, you know, again, so I got two different types of targets out here. That's fine. I'm gonna aim for the eight. Uh, the top eight on, on the target. I don't like that, the uh, old style, you know, I think that's a B27 or whatever. Don't really like that. The ILF EQ gives me a more realistic kind of high center chest. So again, I'm just gonna drive the gun out here and see it. And now when I get my shot off, great, awesome. See my head, drive the gun over to it, see it and take the shot. That's all I was doing, right? So I'm not going hard, I'm not going fast. You can see I got high center hits just where I wanted. Now I can go again and feel it and see it and go, okay, is that what I want? Yes, so I'm not caring about the first shot, taking my time. <laughs> seeing and driving, right? Seeing and driving, feel the second one, okay. So all I'm doing here is seeing what's going on, doing all my other stuff, right? <laughs> see the second shot and drive over to it. What I want you to practice here is seeing, can I see this, can I do it? Can I see this, can I do it? Can I see this, can I do it? If you can do those things, then you're probably doing what you wanna do in that instance. So again, I see this here, got it, feel good. <laughs> see it and do it. Now here at seven yards, that shot I pushed just a little bit to the right, but it's still inside the six inch circle. So it's perfectly acceptable shot, that's an alpha, you know? So we're totally fine with that shot. So this is a skill that you can work on. How many I got left here? I've got like seven in the magazine plus the one in here. So I got about four more reps that I can work on here. Now you notice, 
I don't care how fast I'm going in this initial one because I'm working on the skill. So I can sit out here in the skill. Now here's something that I'm gonna show you. If I wanted to, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you in the second one here in the ILF EQP, what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna go pelvis to head circle, pelvis to head circle, because it's gonna make me do about the same thing, right? <clears throat> so if I'm here and I'm looking at this and I go, okay, so I wanna start down here, get a pelvis shot, then get the head circle one. Oh, barely got it, but I did get it. So again, I got it up there and saw it. So moved it, saw my eyes, actually drove my head up to it and then went and got it. So again, let's go back to my other one here. See it, feel good about it. Oh, just outside there, went a little bit hard on the trigger. Okay, no problem, so I'm still in the eight inch circle. I think I've got one more set of this, sure do. Let's try it one more time here. Just wanna feel it. Yep, feel good about that. Everything worked well there. So that's what I wanna do with this. Okay, now if I wanna use my Mantis to help me on the range on this one, a couple of ways I can do it, not difficult at all, right? And it could be a very helpful tool for the vast majority of shooters. Now again, if you are you know, a, a master class USPSA shooter, uh, the feedback that you're gonna get here may not be exactly what uh, you need in that moment. But for the vast majority of us, let's be honest, this is the kind of feedback that we need because again, it's telling me what's going on in my muzzle the 200 milliseconds before to the 200 milliseconds after. Now I'm gonna tell you, here you notice we are moving, right? The, the gun is moving. So we're not gonna get a high score. We're not gonna get a 95 on this, on this particular iteration. Or if you are getting a 95, you are going way too slow. What I'm really looking for here though is on the graph of tracking, what this guy can tell me is, again, in those couple hundred milliseconds before, the two tenths before, what is my muzzle doing? So if I am making a target transition from left to right, what I really wanna see is I wanna see that 200 milliseconds, it's diving down and right, because what I wanna be doing is, is I wanna be transitioning up, over, down. I wanna go bang and then have it in the window while I come over and look with my eyes. So I wanna go up, over, down. And so if I see that in my, uh, uh, in my live fire, then that's what I'm supposed to be getting. That's good. So guys, target transitions, you can do them. Again, move your eyes, move the gun, move your eyes, move the gun. That'll make you a better shooter in a defensive context. So I just shut the camera off for just a minute because I'm using my uh, iPhone to record and instead went to my Mantis. And so I'm gonna show up the video here of what I did. I did four shots on uh, the recorder <clears throat> and what I saw on the first one, again, you saw a fine shot on the first one, then the second one, my, my score was uh, abysmal, right? It was terrible. But what I really saw when you actually go to it is you notice that as I came in, it dove down into the right, which means again, I am coming over and down while the gun is recoiling and that's what I want. So then it, it came back up. Now the second one you notice I was more down. So, so really my recoil, what I saw is I came more down on the target. And so either I transitioned a little faster, I'm not 100% positive, I transitioned a little faster or I transitioned high and had to drop it to see my dot. Gosh, I, I wish I could tell you which one that is for the moment, but that's what you see. Okay, so I've moved you to the front. I wish I could move you right in the middle, but my equipment set up, I'm a little bit worried about. So don't wanna, I'm actually borrowing a friend's tripod. I don't wanna shoot it and, and my wiring and stuff like that. So you're just off to my right. And what, what I'm gonna show you here is, again, I'm just gonna show you the transition. I want you to not watch the gun so much, watch my eyes. And I'm gonna move the eyes first, move the gun second. So again, just driving the gun out there. Yep, and you can see that in the frame. Looks good, so go. Got two good hits there. See it one more time. Got two good hits there and you notice again. So do I have any left? I do, I got a couple left. What we're gonna do here is, is head and eyes first. So eyes, got them. Get good hits every time. The eyes move first, then move the gun back over. If I'm, a, if I'm an iron shooter, then what I'm doing is, is I'm driving my front sight back over to it. As a dot shooter, I'm just looking for my dot, letting my dot move over and find its spot. 